Ready? I'll get on. Did you scout first? Like, is it good? Yeah, you should just go. I think. I did. I did look. Yeah. We should probably be on on top of the hill, like right there. I'm trying. Yeah. I don't I'm think I'll make it. Here. Don't get out early. Okay. Right, I'm getting out here. Getting out. Yeah. We can ramp up a bit, maybe. Can we ramp up? Uh, I'm front. I'm gonna yeah, bring, bring, it bring it back, bring it back. Yeah, yeah. this game's free. I'm gonna remember to like tunnel. Like I'll conserve where I can, but I don't want to underbuild. Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly explain why we're using the quad crasher in this specific moment, and you know why some people might be confused. Like, yo, why is he not scared of getting sprayed out of the air? Why is he so like confident with this strategy? So number one, right? We've seen Acorn and Jock do this in duo scrims. It's a very viable strat, as you know, pro players have done it before. Uh, you know, pretty early on in chapter three, and I think this is something that'll you know continue to pick up steam, and a lot of pro duos will will continue to do it as well. So it's something to look out for. I do think that quad crashers is a very strong item um but it really depends on how you use it and you know whether how you're going to take it all the way to the third circle successfully so that's something else to take into account um and also making sure that your draw spot has a quad crasher but that's beside the point anyway so why did we do it right first point is the elevation right which means we're going to be flying above people and you'll notice most people have close tops below us we have the highest elevated mountain in the game right now right in that specific game we had the highest elevated mountain which means anyone that has open tops we can just spray at them and force them to have close tops and have cones above their head and once that's the case and everyone has close tops above their head quad crashing is actually very very safe because no one actually sees us doing it and even if someone sees us doing it by the time they process what's going on and you know make the call like yo teammate come here let's let's shoot at them they're like quad crashing for free we've already landed right we've already landed we've secured our position zone and we've also secured our quad crasher for the next rotate which is really nice because we save a lot of mass by taking a little bit of risk earlier on in the game to you know be a little bit averse in risk later on in the game try this out i think it's a really really strong strategy and i think you guys will like it uh, you'll also notice in the very next zone we do this as well and rotate it into half half doing it it's pretty much the same concept and i think you guys will sort of enjoy you know watching us do this strategy it's a very easy way to navigate circles one to five if you do it correctly and acorn and jock have done it and here's great examples of us doing it as well so i think you guys will you know hopefully take some value from this and and try to do it in your own scrims and and see how that works right try it out scrims is a safe place um for now watch the rest of the scrim there's a lot of interesting stuff that happens here especially a lot of chaos and moving zones where we messed up but we ended up recovering and we actually ended up doing really well so uh check it out and i'll catch you guys in a bit the only first zone conserve like it, it's gonna be so obvious like a dead side low ground yeah yeah, yeah. if it's like really obvious like that i'll conserve for sure yeah. like anywhere if anywhere zone pulls uh southeast is gonna be a low ground zone like go down yeah up. yeah yeah if it pulls like top left then maybe you have to go up mm -hmm. but, like you can still go up dead side with like left side right side mm -hmm. easily. we have truck flash so we should have dips right i drop on us we should look up that's very important uh it's on i, I have a floor right here floor no cone yeah it's right there yeah it's right there on on that metal cone North i'm a little worried about opening if we can don't open it let it come down okay, okay. the other kids cannot like they can't yeah yeah, yeah. just if they do I then i grow them away. yeah there's no way to do it oh nice don't pull it back i'm tempted to shoot it but is it close no no you don't have to uh not yet like i'm worried about having to rotate late. oh if we get it we have a pad I for mountain see, that's what i'm saying like we can quad crash this zone and then we can pad mountain zone yeah, right, right, right. If we have to. yeah yeah i'm done uh, I'm gonna stop the quad. Okay. It's almost so here, I think. Be... Let me reset for you. Actually, this is the ramp. We're just gonna do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost you here. You have to go up left one. No, I think it's okay. We want to be dead side up enough too. Like, dead side pulls up, so we want to kind of be on the higher layer, on the dead side. If we can. Then we're gone. Go for it. Up Don't up. go in sun. Up, 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 up. Yeah. I'm good. What about you? Good, I'm good. I went up on you. Yeah. Yeah, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna splash this because he took fall. Close. Nani? I can. It's teammate, point, teammate, teammate. I'm splashing this one. Yeah. Okay, we're good. I didn't get the splash. It's fine. Oh, didn't, I didn't. didn't. Okay, do you use that, use that, use that. We can right hand this maybe and just chill here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Careful of that brick wall, it's really weak. But if we'll go. This is a really good pad spot in front of me. We can go up here and pad in the back, no? Careful. Oh, they died. Can we look at them? We can maybe. Coming up. 
You have hard pin. Uh, double, double space from you, maybe? Nah, I have, really, we have pads, nah, but nah. I think we should do the bottom one, to be honest. It's so far away from them. Like, okay. I feel like uh, it's just easier. <clears throat> it goes really slowly, though, so... Like, do, you wanna, do you want a double pad? Like, double dip? Mm, yeah, sure. Okay. If no one's focusing us, if someone focuses us, just land. Yeah. Okay, ready? Very good search. I'm going back for it. I'm not getting focused. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, are you? Okay, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm not going back for it. So, quick interjection here. Why did we place the launch pad in this specific location and why did we decide to go at that specific time? So, first moving in general, it's okay to launch pad a little bit late. Um, just watch out for height. I would, you know, just pay attention to where height. This is something that actually we didn't do. I personally would, if I played this game again, would want to look at height and see where it is and see if it's a threat when we do launch pad. Um, especially with MK7 in the game and just beam out of the air, right? It's really, really scary. So there's that. And then, you know, why do we place the launch pad where we placed it? So there's a third party in the opposite direction of where we placed the launch pad. And I just wanted to be a little bit further away from them. Uh, also, it kind of looked like there's a little bit more cover. What I should have done actually was to place a lot more cover right before I placed that launch pad. Uh, in terms of where we landed, uh, generally, it's not a good idea, especially with mountains all around you to play low ground and commit to that low ground layer super early on in first moving. Because what if it pulls up a mountain? Then what, right? Especially when we just use our launch pad there's genuinely no play uh, after that so like there's no plan b there so we're just not going to play low ground first moving and in general there's just no point playing low ground in first moving it feels really committed um and it just doesn't seem like that strong from my experience it doesn't seem that like strong to play low ground first moving right um in second third fourth you kind of want to take it then and then hold it then hold it all the way through um you'll actually conserve more mats but you might have to fight a lot of people um but if you're good at fighting if you're good at your peaks and good at your angles you'll end up getting a lot of kills and getting a lot of impact and once you get those mats back you'll be able to continue to talk over and over and over again so continue watching the video let's go back to it uh maybe you wanted to stagger yeah, the our, our walls yeah, on the I'm left gonna, yeah i see it yeah yeah oh they're getting followed i'm gonna look for an impact now we're good let's let me know when you need mats okay yeah i'll drop in static we're almost in Shout don't splash us once we're good okay. we're good we cover ahead. Come, come. coming 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 no, 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 okay just say head say head i have really good mats i have really good mats i'm about to drop you okay i'm about to drop okay you. drop me drop me all right i have 400 wood now okay Okay. You're gonna look for something? Okay, for Nick. Keep going, Paco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go we're good, back, we're back. good, we're good, we're good. No, no, they're, they're not. Okay, okay, okay. They're not aggroing. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Go, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I get you, I get you. I'm good, I'm good. Play safe. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm, it's going, it's going. Yeah. I'm holding, I'm holding wall, man. Come, come, come. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Yeah. 300 wood. Come to me. I'm gonna splash, I'm gonna splash this, don't worry. Okay. In the box, in the box. Hit him hard, nice. Get the mats. Oh, I drop. I drop down some. I drop down some. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. You can just say ulti low here. You can say ulti low. You can say ulti low. Okay. I'm worried about the uphill pull. Yeah, just uh, double air like this here. I've really yeah. good mats. I've really good mats. Here, I'm gonna flash this. Flash this, and then we you gotta go we down, gotta go down. down. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go to down. Right, to the right, to the right. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Get my land on your box. Watch out. From, uh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go down one more. Go down one more. Go down one more. With you. With you. With you. Playing this layer. I have our pun, uh, Still I'm with you. Up. I'm 400 mats, okay? Keep going. Don't put, don't put Mostly wood. So let's quickly talk about why we drop down layers um, and, you know, just continue to drop until we were low ground. Why do we do it, right? So if you don't know already, I've said this in multiple videos already, but low ground is a power layer, right? It's a place where you want to be, especially if you're not so concerned. I was a little bit concerned this game about pulling up a hill uh, in the next moving zone, but, you know, we just pulled the trigger and took the risk. Um, I don't know if that was the best play. Maybe that's probably why low ground was so isolated um, and people weren't playing it because they were scared of that, you know, outcome. But regardless, um, I took low ground, right? Me and Bucky took low ground and we found the benefits of low ground to be really, really good. So first of all, you will guaranteed be top two if you continue to hold low ground and secure it all the way uh number two you'll find a lot of kills with a lot of people with zero mats because when people have zero mats they usually drop down to low ground panicking uh and they'll, you'll just be able to kill them right away because they just can't build when you spray at them number three you're saving a lot of mats because you don't have to place that floor underneath you uh number four you're never getting sprayed from below you right so you, it's just like a nice pinch uh from you and high ground to all the middle layers right so those are just the general reasons why low ground's really nice um and why it's really really good so try to take low ground when you can but try to do it in second moving onward uh, it can be good in first moving, but that that sort of depends on the scenario. Uh, and sometimes it might be, you know, kind of grief trying to fight for it, especially when there's mountains around you. So try not to commit to low ground super early. Um, I would do it if it's like a super flat area throughout the entire map and the areas surrounding your moving zones, right? Because then you're not worried about it pulling up elevation. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. There's one more interjection that I will have at the end of the video uh, where I'll explain how I could have actually won the game instead of getting top two. So enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Peace. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna look for a harpoon down here, okay, on the yeah. right side. Watch out for SMG double spray into our box, okay? Do you have hearts, you have hearts, you have hearts? I know, 100 metal, here, 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 take, 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 take. People above, okay, careful. 
I might edit, okay? Be ready. I can do something. Oh, what? Come, follow me, follow me, follow me. Look, bro, come to me. No, no, on, on me, on me, on me. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I see, yeah, I see, yeah, I see, same, 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 same. Hard pin, hard pin. Pin's on side. I'm trapping, I'm okay. trapping, I'm trapping. Stay ahead. Can you get to me? I'm, I'm good, I need to heal, I'm healing. Oh. It's about a pull, so be ready. I'm 200 wood yeah. only, okay? I have 500 mats, I have 500 mats. Wait for zone, wait for zone. Chug, spicy. You tarp, you tarp, you're 500, okay? Come, 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 come. With you, with you, with you, with you. Hard with you, hard with you. Right side, that's it, right side, that's it. I'm not putting, I'm not putting left wall. Watch it, watch it. I don't want to go too long. We're getting focused. We're getting yeah, yeah, yeah. Go cool back here. a bit, go back a bit. We have, look, we have to look back for a kill here, I think. Yeah, yeah. We should have, we should Honor have there. Yeah. We're loading? Yeah, in, the, in, the, there, in the water, in the water. 100 in the water, 100 in the water. Yeah. 40 on that kid. Back up. Tarp, tarp, tarp. I'm, yeah. I'm a little low. Man, I'll splash it. No, I have 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 builds. Okay. Here, I'm tarping. I can take I, over I'm for the last end build. Okay, I can top, go, I can cover go. Top, cover top and look back. Cover top, look back. Yeah, yeah. Harpoon, Hunter, harpoon, harpoon, harpoon. Oh, right there, right there, under. Yeah. Got that? I, I can go for that, I can go oh, for that. Under, under, under. Uh, dead. Nice. 2v2, 2v2, 2v2. It's just a night, it's just a night. Okay. We, we need to look, that, uh, look up and spray in a second. Yeah, I'm just... Be ready, be ready. Are you ready to spray? No, he fell. He took 40 weight. He took 40 weight. Nice. He's on top of you. Nice. Let me load this. Uh, Where does it go? I see, I see it. I see it. Some builds gotta go for something crazy, maybe. I don't think he has mats. Oh, he got he got a hit there. All good. Second place, not bad. So in terms of why we got second and not first. So first of all, why did we get second instead of top five? That's, there's one thing right there, right? First reason is the simple fact that we took low ground, we, we focused on a win condition in the moving zones, right? So in my personal opinion, in duos, you really wanna focus on t either taking low ground or high ground, if it's possible to do so. So a lot of people get baited by this, right? Don't take it if it doesn't look free, right? If you don't feel like it is free to do so, and it actually involves a lot of risk or involves a lot of fighting and it involves, you know, contesting someone that clearly isn't scuffed, don't do it. It's just not worth the risk. Um, I would probably play mid-ground until a better opportunity shows itself. Maybe you get an impact on mid-ground and then low ground runs out of match and then you take it in front of them. Maybe something like that or even high ground, right? Something like that. And then you retake a power layer later on. That would be a little bit nice. But we just found a free opportunity because the rest of the lobby just decided they don't want to play low ground. But I don't know why, but they just were playing that way. So we took low ground for ourselves. Um, and then we got a bunch of kills because of that, which is, allowed us to get more mats and then continue to tarp. That was the main reason why we had so many mats, right? Like we just kept getting a couple impacts and then finding a ton of mats that way. So that was good. Uh, the other thing was uh, everyone in the mid ground just got completely sandwiched, right? We sprayed up and high ground sprayed down. That's the simple reason why we were able to get top two. Um, and in terms of how we could have got top one, it's a very micro detail, but I didn't cover one floor, right? I think Bucky died because we didn't continue to floor in front of us. So that allowed them an angle to drop down onto us. So they made a really committal play to just engage. I, I don't know why they did it, which is really unexpected. I feel like a better team would have done something together, like on their end. They just went solo, which to me doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, that's sort of why they... They, they lost they should have done either both of them come down or both of them stay up and spray like either or works um what they did was probably the worst option right they sent one down and kept one up which is just wrong and luckily for them we weren't ready uh and you know they got a pick right it was a one for one trade however in a case where we were ready we could have got that kill immediately and then just 2v1 the guy on height won the game for free so that was definitely a misplay on their part but in terms of what we could have done further you know what i could have done further in the 1v1 I forgot to block one specific square. Literally, that one small thing is why we lost the 1v1. Genuinely, right? I don't think it's correct for me to start cranking. If you look at my Mac account, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, maybe, but like, I just don't, I don't think so. My main instinct in terms of what my mistake was, was just that simple fact that I didn't place that floor. And I lost a big chunk of HP because of that one missing floor. So sometimes it's a small thing guys sometimes it's nothing complicated sometimes it's not something like it's super game sense or super like you know macro related it's something that's so small and so like minor detail um but it is important to fix that detail for the future like if this situation happens again i need to place that floor um and then that way he doesn't get that trade on me and then it's more of a fair fight so hope you guys enjoyed the video there's something to learn from this tell me if you guys enjoyed this format where i keep coming in and interjecting and telling you guys my thoughts on the scrim or you know the game that i'm vod reviewing and sort of just giving you my analysis of it so um tell me if you guys enjoyed this video let me know new ideas in the comments as always and i'll see you guys in the next one peace